Welcome to Browser Wars, the rootinest, tootinest, roughest, toughest battle to ever take place between internet browsers. At least since Google Chrome showed up on the scene a few years back and gave everyone else a giant wedgie or whatever's going on in that picture with its lightning fast performance and lightweight system resource usage. But that was then and this is now and now is Project Spartan, or excuse me, I mean Microsoft Edge, the internet exploration tool, see what I did there, that comes with Windows 10 and wants your attention. But should you switch to it? I guess we'll be talking about that, won't we? Also, I'll be pleading for your likes on this video like a, a like badger or something. Look, can we just get an illustration of what a like badger would look like? Thanks. Yeah, like one of those. Intel brings DDR4 to the mainstream with their all new Core i7-6700K and Core i5-6600K processors. Click the link in the video description to learn more. So while the focus in this video is going to be on the speed benchmarks we performed in Microsoft Edge, first things first. Microsoft never claims that Edge is the fastest browser on the block, so then what does it promise to deliver that other perfectly capable options don't? Great question, and we're actually going to have a full video about this on our TechQuickie channel quite shortly, so get subscribed over there for that. But in a nutshell, Microsoft has got three main pillars for Edge. Number one is easy markup of web pages and then easy sharing, so I guess useful for Surface Series tablet users and those people who are freakishly skilled it, drawing with a mouse. Uh, number two is reading mode, which sweeps the unnecessary stuff out of the way and allows you to focus on what you're, well, reading. And number three is having Cortana as a co-pilot who suggests stuff and delivers instant search results. With Bing, unfortunately, but hey, whatever, Microsoft. I never wanted to actually download anything that time when I was searching for a Thunderbolt driver. Anyway, man, I hate Bing. Like, how hard is this? But anyway, just like you're not tied to Edge on Windows 10, though they do make default browser switching a little more complicated than before, you are not tied to Bing with Cortana in Edge if you wanted to pair her with a stronger search engine, which I guess ties well into the unofficial, but in my opinion, super important fourth pillar that's coming a bit later. Proper support for extensions like the other two leading browsers from Mozilla and Google. But enough of that, let's talk performance. John was the one who put together this benchmarking setup for this video, and I think he did a bang up job. We used a Core i7-5930K with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a Samsung 850 Pro SSD, and all tests were run on a fresh copy of Windows 10 64-bit with all the latest versions of all browsers running vanilla without extensions to ensure a fair fight. First up is BrowserMark, which analyzes both the performance and standards compliance of a given browser. Here, Chrome and Opera, remember it's Chrome-based, run away with the contest with an overall score of over 6,000 each. Both Edge and Internet Explorer 11 get crushed. Next is a variety of mostly JavaScript-focused benchmarks with some twists. Uh, Peacekeeper also looks at performance of a 2D game. Web Expert looks at HTML5 Canvas performance and HTML5 test, as you can well imagine, dials in on HTML5 performance. And this went pretty well overall, with Edge only being badly beaten in speedometer and HTML5 test, and even pulling out victories in SunSpider and Jetstream. For our next Next test, we wanted to take a look at RAM usage because while it's all fine and good to talk about performance on a six core machine with 16 gigs of system memory, not everyone is running a configuration like that. So at idle, Internet Explorer 11 comes out on top with Edge coming in second place. Then under what I'd consider to be a fairly typical load with an HD YouTube video playing, uh, Twitter and Facebook open, a long Wikipedia article loaded up somewhere else, the Amazon homepage and CNN homepage, Edge falls apart, managing even worse performance than our second last finisher, Chrome, a browser that is well known for its RAM eating habits these days. We're not all about synthetics around here though, so in our testing, we also threw in some real world stuff and John whipped out the high speed camera to do some practical web page loading tests. Edge was put up against Chrome side by side on our 200 megabit guaranteed fiber line and the results were measured by analyzing the footage to see how long the pages took to load. For YouTube videos, Facebook and Amazon, I think it's safe to say that the difference was fairly negligible to a normal person, but for CNN, Edge got beaten by nearly a second. Bummer.
So the conclusion here is pretty straightforward. Edge isn't the fastest browser out there, which no one, not even Microsoft, claimed it would be. And it still struggles with some compatibility issues, although that won't surprise you if you've read any of the user reviews out there on the net. But the good news is that it is a big leap forward compared to Internet Explorer 11, which came in last in all but two of the benchmarks we ran. So here's to improvement, Microsoft. Let's see if Edge can continue to improve compatibility enough in the next year or so to justify its cool, unique features. Speaking of cool, unique features, Braintree. Braintree provides code for easy online payments. So if you're building a mobile app and searching for a simple payment solution, definitely check them out. They make it easy to offer multiple mobile payment methods, including PayPal, Apple Pay, Bitcoin, Venmo, cards, and more, all with a simple integration. With the Braintree V.0 SDK, which is one small snippet of code, you are all set up in less than 10 minutes. They even have support staff ready to walk you through the integration process over the phone if you need them. Their code supports Android, iOS, and JavaScript clients, and they have SDKs in seven programming languages. And if you run into any problems down the line, like I just said, they have quick, knowledgeable developers support ready to help you out if you have any questions. To learn more and, this is a really great offer, for your first 50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash Linus, also linked in the video description. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or even consider supporting us directly by using our affiliate code to shop at Amazon, instructions in the eye up at the top, by buying a cool t-shirt like this one, or even with a direct monthly contribution through our community forum. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So click that little button in the top right corner to check out our channel Super Fun video where we paint my car pink. Woo! Yes, it actually happened.